Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. This is uh, part two. So now that you've, in part one, I explained kind of like the websites that you should be looking at: Coin Market Cap, Binance, Coinbase, Coin Paprika, and just an overall overview of getting started with crypto investments. This video, I'm going to go over actually physically and doing a step-by-step, -step, over my shoulder kind of way of buying on Binance or on Coinbase. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to Coinbase and you're going to log in. It's going to ask you for a two-step verification. So I'm just going to put in my verification. Every time you sign in, it's going to ask you for that verification code. So, so now that you've logged into Coinbase um, and let's say you want to buy Bitcoin. So you could, these are the tradable assets. So if you go to here, um, prices, you can actually see what coins are supported on coinbase so majority of the most popular coins are traded so let's uh, just click on Bitcoin itself now I'll just show you over here when this loads up right now and we're at uh, kind of stay-at-home procedures and everyone in our neighborhood is on the internet so our internet is actually slow and it's horrible I guess great so now over here on coinbase itself it'll actually tell you how much Bitcoin you actually have like I mentioned before in my video I like to keep um, my funds in different multiple places but over here it'll tell you the exact price of what it's trading at now what you can do is buy or sell so we're just gonna go through buying so with with coinbase it'll tell you exactly how much available funds you have to buy so let's just put in all right so let's get into uh, buying Bitcoin so you've already clicked on Bitcoin BTC now what you can do is come over here and you could put in your amount that you want to buy now, when you first get started off with your Coinbase account, you'll probably be on a limit to about $150 to maybe $200 a week. It just really depends. But when you have it tied into your debit card, uh, it'll tell you over here, you know, how much available that you can buy per week. So, you know, let's just go through the example. I'm going to buy it right now. I don't think I have a limit anymore. So, for example, let's just put in $100. Um, yeah, over here it says you have $250 remaining, if you saw that just pop up. So let's just go to preview buy. Now I'm going to preview buy, and then once you preview, you can confirm, and you can click buy now. And it'll tell you exactly, you'll get 0 0.06. This is my balance, sorry. And then what you'll when you're buying, you're going to actually, it'll tell you how much you're getting in total of Bitcoin. So you're getting 0 0.009 of a Bitcoin with your $200 purchase so that's how you buy on Bitcoin and that's how you follow the same procedure on buying other the all of the other coins that are available on Coinbase so now let's get into step two which is buy on Binance Binance is pretty easy it might look confusing but really it's not so if you needed to deposit funds into Binance follow these steps especially if you're in Canada you can uh, just click on buy crypto with credit card or debit card pretty straightforward um, you actually tell Binance um, which coin you want to buy, whether it's um, BUSD, which is Binance USD, which is like the tether. So you put in your amount, let's say it's $1,000. Okay, now this is where you specify what coin you want to buy. So BUSD, like I mentioned, is Binance USD. It's like USD tether. It's a one-to-one -one pair of your fiat currency to BUSD. So let's say you want to buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Now it's going to tell you you're going to get 0 0.137199 of Bitcoin. And then you select BTC and your bank card. So you select buy. Now it's going to bring you to the second page, which is how or what you want to buy. So um, this has changed actually because please add additional information, nationality, because I know there's stricter regulations now. I think for Canada, it's going to say, um, I think the Canadian government is saying they want to monitor all transactions that are happening from May and above. So estimate investment amount. So you can say between this and this, and I'm going to confirm. Now it says kindly note your account is under review to assess if you are eligible to use this payment. Please try to use this service after 20 to 30 seconds. So 
Uh, that is new. Um, I guess regulations, you know, it's getting kind of stricter in terms of buying cryptocurrencies on markets. So before, you know, I made a video a couple of months back, you, you're able to put in your amount and then you get forwarded to the page and then you pick your option where you want to pay, whether it's through Simplex um, or another provider. So I was using Simplex, but now it came up with that and they're kind of reviewing my account. But anyways, um, that's how you buy a BTC. And then once you get into BTC, you're going to get a notification over here. Um, it's going to say deposit successful right over here. Right. And then you can go into, you know, over here and you actually see in your account that you have it successfully deposited. And then you can go to the markets and then, then, then you can start trading BTC. Bitcoin with other coins that you want to trade with. So basically, if you just want to stick with BTC and keep BTC, then you're done. But if you want to take BTC and you wanted to trade with all of these other altcoins like Ethereum, uh, VeChain, etc., you just come over here to BTC markets and you can say, okay, I want to take my Bitcoin and I want to trade for some Ethereum and all of these other coins. So let's go to it and I'll show you. And it's the same process for every other altcoin that is supported on Binance. Now, after we do the purchase on Binance, now it's up to you. You can leave it in Binance. Binance is pretty secure. But majority of the people like to keep it or take it off of Binance and move it into like a cold wallet like the Ledger Nano S or Ledger Nano X. So it's up to you. It just really depends if you're a short-term short trader or long-term uh, trader. So I'm a, a hodler where I'm long-term. So what I'm going to do is buy whatever coins I want take it off Binance, put it into my ledger and kind of set and forget and just watch the market over like one, two, three years, right? And that's my plan. You know, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a short-term day trader. So now you come over here and you could create a limit order. So let's say you wanted to, like I got Bitcoin. So let's say I wanted to uh, buy Ethereum. So how much Ethereum do I want? Let's say I want um, two Ethereum, right? Now it's going to cost the price of this. It's going to cost me that much Bitcoin. So I'm going to say I want two Ethereum at whatever price that I that I say that I want. Let's just let's start over. So now now what you do is when you come over to Ethereum, what you can do is you can say I can buy at the market price and at market BTC and I say I want to do 25% of it so I'm going to be buying 11 25% of my Bitcoin that I have I'm going to get 25% of my Bitcoin and I'm going to buy Ethereum now if you wanted to go to the limit you can start setting your amount so let's say I, only, I want to buy um, two Ethereum but I only want to pay you know you could come over here I want to lowball it and I say I want to buy what buy it at point zero two three eight right then you could put that amount you can say I want to buy it at that right so then you do buy then it would create a, a, an order for you and if it ever reaches that amount it'll actually go in and fulfill your order then you'll get the notification up here and it'll say that it's fulfilled or you can go to orders and look at your order history so that's how you do it you can set your amounts if you just want to buy it the market at what it's going for at points over here point zero two four one three you just come over here and then you trade it so that is uh, the basics I want to keep this short very straightforward if you have any questions or if you want me to make a follow-up video just let me know in the comments again guys please subscribe like comment and I'll see you in the next video thanks